Hey, what's up guys? I want to share with you just a, a few healing testimonies um, from the past week. There's been, uh, I've had several opportunities to pray for people who have different injuries or, or different ailments from, in their bodies. And, and I just have some things to encourage you guys with. The Lord is moving in His healing power and it's so cool to see. Um, just a, a few days ago, it was on a Friday night, I was actually in the prayer room in Kansas City. And the, the prayer leader was like, hey, anyone in the room, if you have different things you want to be prayed for, uh, sickness or injury, step into the aisle. We'd love to pray for you. And so I, there was this woman probably in her 40s, probably early 40s, late 30s, and she, she comes out and I come up to her. And I was like, hey, you know, what's, what seems, what, what's your injury? What can I pray for you for? And she said, yeah, you know, I have this I've kind of I've kind of injured my thumb and I have lost range of motion in my thumb. I can't really move it. She was showing me she could move this one, but she couldn't really move this one. And we were like, okay, let's pray. And so I just kind of I put my hand on her thumb and and begin to pray. And there was two others praying as well. And we just began to bless her thumb and and speak healing over it. And the the what I like to do is pray for you know twenty thirty seconds and then ask. Hey, how is your thumb? How, um, you know, I'm praying with the expectation that the Lord is is healing it, and um, and so I want to test it out. I want to see. So she tests it out, and she's like, "Yeah, it's actually it's it's more loose. I have more range of motion than it was." And we're like, "Awesome! Let's let's thank the Lord for what He's doing even now, and let's 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 contend for the fullness. Let's just let's pray more." So we pray again and. And then she could move her thumb more. And we were like, hallelujah, keep going, Jesus. And we prayed until eventually she had a, a ton of range of motion. I don't know if it was it was as much as her other thumb. But, you know, when we first started praying, she couldn't even really move it. And by the end, she was moving it. And she was so thankful. And the Lord was really just actually touching her in general. She was really just feeling the presence of the Lord as we prayed. So that was really cool. Well, I'm about to go back to my seat. And... And this older lady, probably in her 60s, kind of comes up to me and she's like, hey, I, 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 have, I need you to pray for me. And I was like, okay. And the other people had left. It was just me and this woman. And she was like, she was like I got ringing in my ears. I've, and I was like, oh, how long have you had ringing in your ears? She's like, for a couple days. And I was like, I, I, just, I felt this boldness and I just, I just cupped my hands and I put them over her ears. Just kind of like that. And I said, Father, in the name of Jesus, I curse all ringing in this woman's ears. And I just command her to be healed in the name of Jesus. And I probably prayed for 20 seconds. And I, I, I asked, how is it? Is it? Is it all gone? And she was like, she kind of listened for a minute. She said, yep, it's all gone. And I was like, come on, that's amazing, awesome. Thank you, Jesus. And I just like put my hands on her ears again. And I said, thank you, God, for touching your daughter in whom you are so well pleased. You love this this woman that you've created, God. And I just, I just declare that this ringing in her ears can never come back in the name of Jesus. And she was just, she was like, it was just, that was it. She was just very nonchalant. She was, thank you so much. All right, going on with my day. And man, that, that it was just casual. And something that I've grown to appreciate is the the supernatural becoming natural. It's just like, of course, I got healed because that's what Jesus said would happen when we prayed for the sick. Um, and so, like, for that to to start to become more of a, of a reality in my life brings me so much joy. Even this morning, I was in the prayer room again, and I prayed for this girl. Again, she had a thumb thing. where She had pain in her thumb, and she had pain in her hip. And, you know, within a few minutes of praying for both of those things, both the pain in her thumb and both the pain in her back was all gone. And we were just like, I mean, I'm just like, man, that's amazing. And I, I've just stopped kind of getting surprised because I, I'm praying and expecting the Lord to move in healing um, and I, this is something that has frustrated me so much, praying for people who are who are injured and not seeing them healed. And I've just gone to the Lord and, and really just haven't, hasn't been okay with me. And, and one of the things that has brought me so much comfort, it's not okay 
with the Lord either. He's paid a price for us to walk in a certain way in, in this reality of this power of the Holy Spirit. We have the same Holy Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead living inside of us. We have God living inside of us. John 16, 7 actually even says, Jesus says, it's to your advantage that I leave because I'm going to send the Holy Spirit and he's going to be with you. He's going to live inside of you. And like, we just have no idea what is available to us through the Holy Spirit. And uh, if we're honest, if we're honest, it, we don't, a lot of us don't live in that reality where it's to our advantage that Jesus is God and Holy Spirit is here because we're not walking in anything like Jesus walked in. And so that verse should really pain us if we're not seeing the manifestations of the Holy Spirit and, and healing um, the gifts of the Spirit, all this stuff um, that Jesus saw and, and, and showed us that we can do as his, as his friends, as ones endued with power by the Holy Spirit. So I just want to encourage you guys and, and just, um, you know, there is fruit the fruit of, uh, of the the work of the Holy Spirit in me, and, and just I just I just want to encourage you guys, even ones who support me, I just want to thank you so much. All the fruit from my ministry, my hands, is just as much your fruit. If you are are partnering with me in ministry, whether it's through financial partnership or through uh, prayer partnership, so rejoice with me, and and thank the Lord. So hallelujah, I will see you guys later. Be blessed. Bye-bye.